You know, I just wanted to relax tonight because I had a good buzz after having a couple of drinks at dinner, but this little ass munch had to tell me that there was a master duel update and that they actually added a match mode. But the match mode is dog shit. It is liquid ass with a big old ultra banana inside with big old round cheeks. Let's dive into today's video. Try to relax your anus, your shoulders. the ever living crap out of that subscribe button so that we can get to 900 and eventually 1,000 freaking subscribers. Can you tell that I've been in a good mood today? Like I said, I had a couple of drinks. So we're in a good ass mood. And you know what? I figured I had a couple of drinks at dinner with my homie. And you know what? I want to shit on master shits. And you know what we always say? Repeat after me. <clears throat> we will call it master shits until master duel is a good game, which spoiler alert, it never freaking will be. Ladies and gentlemen, they added a bullshit ass match mode. So let's go ahead and dive on into this beautiful bean information of a bean, I guess. So a new version of Master Shits has been released, introducing a number of new features and setting things up for the next dog water event. Casual match slash free match. <laughs> Konami, you punted the football again and you shot your shot. You, the target's here. The target is my hand and you missed. You missed. It's like the game, if you watch American football, where the Jacksonville Jaguars were on like the 10-yard line and the Falcons were getting ready to kick a field goal. And if they made the field goal, they went into the playoffs. If they missed, the Jags went into the playoffs. And you know what the kicker did? He missed the 10-yard field goal. He sucked. And you know what? The Jags went into the playoffs for like the first time and then they didn't do it for like 20 years anyways they're a dog water team so let's go ahead and continue with this dog water information here you can duel against a random opponent without affecting your rank or player level as if someone actually gives a shit about that you don't get any rewards from this mode either as the name says it's aimed at casual play without concerning about rankings or rewards this can be selected from the duel menu you put in a mode that everybody wanted that they can't even get any sort of rewards for. How brain dead is Konami at this point with Master Duel? Like, seriously, th this this game is like on life alert. Like, they got the little badge around their neck and shit. They're clicking the button like every other day trying to keep it alive and the servers and shit. Lord have mercy. Okay, so all jokes aside. They botched the match mode. They punted the football the opposite way when it's supposed to go this way. You want to put in a match mode that people can grind out and get, you know, gems for and increase their rating for. To have a match mode that you can't actually gain anything from, yes, there's finally a match mode coming to the game that should have been there at fucking launch. But why would you not have a match mode where you can increase your rating? You can get gems. What is the point of playing the match mode for any other reason than to just troll with a competitive deck. Because they say it's casual play, but what are they going to do? Lock you out of playing Flutteries? No, they ain't going to do that shit. That's like going on Dueling Book and going into the advanced unrated and saying casual only. You know what I'm going to do as a troll? I'm going in there with Mystic Mind Burn. Hey, man, this is my casual deck. And then you know what? They're going to just rage quit on me. Like, literally, that's what's going to happen. So they have some new card animations. No one gives a shit about that. The animations are liquid ass. The DS games have better animations. Uh, spell and trap cards, whatever. Win conditions. Your opponent decking out as a special animation. That's never going to happen. Destiny board has a unique animation featuring Necrofear using it. That's never going to happen. Uh, additionally, other special win conditions like FA winners, Final Countdown, Ghost Trick, Angel of Mischief, Jackpot 7, Gimmick Puppet, Numeronius, Numeronia, presumably others have a common animation where the card responsible for the win condition floats in the middle of the screen. Woo! It's a ghost! <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. New effect for special summons, a brief glow to visually tell it apart from normal summons. New button in the information pop-up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, new setting to show animations for the first time they occur during the duel. Again, all of this shit should have been there at launch. Instead of dragging a card you want to activate or summon, you can now also drag the command to the field. I don't know what that means because I refuse to play this shit. 
Switch and hold option for activation confirmations on top of the on off auto button. You now hold left click to quickly change it on, right click to quickly change it off without approaching the button. Room matches, here we go, room matches. New feature to save replay footage. Why wasn't this in there at launch? Even EDO Pro has this shit. And that was at launch. <laughs> like that's an unofficial simulator and it's got more features in it than this dog water. Ability to choose the camera angle while watching a room match replay. That sounds very sexual in nature, I'm not gonna lie. He likes that, that sounds interesting to this man, but to me, or excuse me, to this ball, we don't wanna misgender someone like we did JCD apparently. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, ability to check the deck while seated at a table in the room. So like I can see someone's deck while I'm watching a game and on Discord I can tell them what they're playing. Okay, display a notification when the opponent takes a seat at the table. Who gives a shit? Uh, added refresh list button to room search. Why wasn't that there at launch? EDO Pro literally has a refresh button. Like, why is this not there? See, the, the reason why I'm freaking out about this is because I've had so many comments on all of my Master Duel videos say, the game's gonna get better with time. They're going to add features. They're going to add modes. They're going to add this. But this is the age that we're in, in just in gaming as a whole. People are like, they're gonna shit the stuff out of their ass now and they're gonna patch it later. No, screw you. I want the game perfect and polished on release. Don't just drop a turd out of your Yu-Gi-Oh butthole and just patch it later. Cause all you're doing is just adding makeup to a turd. It's still a turd. Like, I don't understand why people think just patch the game later is going to make it better. No, because as someone who wants to play the game as best as it can be at launch, I'm not going to wait six months after the game has been released, probably almost seven by the time I'm making this video, for the game to actually be playable. You know, look at something like Call of Duty Vanguard. Look at something like Battlefield 2042, where they just shit the game out. Like, it wasn't even ready. It was buggy and no content. And now those games are just getting to where they should be almost a year out. Like, just to meet a sales quota. Like, no, the game's going to be hot garbage, like, until that point. And even then, people are going to have moved on from that point. Like, am I really going to be waiting six months, seven months to be playing Master Shits when I can be playing Live Alive on my Switch? I could be playing Ocarina of Time on my PC with the Ship of Harkinian port. That's really good, I might add. Like, there's so many other things I can occupy my time with. Why am I going to play this crap? You either have it good at launch you delay it or you just don't do it at all. Deck editing, new button to toggle between different forbidden limited lists. Currently only standard is available many other minor quality of life updates. Again, why was this not at launch? Why are you focusing on, on uh, different forbidden and limited lists with an asterisk with that, that are focused on Master Duel? Why do you not have different forbidden and limited lists of other formats, whether it's Edison, Dragon Rulers, GOAT format. Like if Master, I kid you not, I kid you not, you can hold me to this. If Master Shits had GOAT format, 2005, I would play it. I swear to God, I would re-download it on my PS5, I'd download it on my PC and my Switch, and I would play the hell out of Master Shits because GOAT format is fun. You don't even have GOAT format on here, and yet you're still sticking to, if you want to gain gems and increase your ranking, you have to play the best of one mode. You get nothing out of the match mode. Why do you think we wanted a match mode? It's because we wanted to increase our ranking in this match mode, you fool. You dungus, you ball, <laughs> you missed the target. The target is this big and you missed. Oh my lord. Okay, let's let's move on. Uh, then they have a new event, the Duelist Cup. Uh, he did what in his cup? In the words of Tomater without the toe, like I'd rather play with this Ultra Ball than play in your cup. Oh my god. The event will consist of two stages, with the first one starting on August 9th and the second one on August 19th, both ending on the 22nd. Usual times of applying time limit of 300 seconds. During the first stage, you have to increase your duelist level to a level that someone will say that you have no life. Uh, in the second stage, you can collect DP by winning duels and lose it by losing duels. I don't give a shit. According to your ranking in Duel 7, July 2022, you get a boost in your whatever. Uh, and then they have the levels here. You also get the corresponding level of rewards as if you started from level one. Bronze and below will start from level one. 
Well, thank God, because the game's shit. The rewards have not been revealed yet. They're probably shit. So stay tuned for when the event starts. Don't play this event. It's dog shit. New selection pack, Invincible Raid, introducing the Bee Troopers and Dino Morphe, as well as new cards for Nordic and Didi decks. They're just putting this shit in on August 9th, and it's currently August 7th. Confirmed cards include Giant Bee Trooper, Invincible Atlas, Absolute Hercules, Guardian Chimera, Dino Morphe, Kendragina, DDD, Divisor King, Deuce Machina X. Pack will be available on August 9th. So, just to kind of touch on the packs and, like, the cards that they're putting into the game, they don't even have every single card, like, from the beginning of the game. Like, they're adding in cards sparsely, which, again, if you don't have all the cards programmed into the game, I don't care if you don't hold the rights to Air Neos anymore. You delay the shit. Like, the game never should have came out when it did. But the highlight to take from all this is the match mode has no sustenance at all. Like... Why even play a match mode? Like, is Konami trying so hard to have the match mode just be casual dog shit decks? And when those dog shit decks aren't going to have a side deck anyway, because little Timmy isn't going to put together a side deck because he's not going to a regional. This goes back to the article that I shat on that was on TCG Player, where the writer was like, you know, I could see in uh, down the road, someone's going to win a YCS and they only play it on Master Duel. And I'm like, what? Are you out of your mind? No one, and I'm willing to bet money on it, no one is going to strictly play Master Duel and walk in like they have the biggest cock in the room and just win a YCS out of nowhere. The format isn't even the same. You don't get anything from the match mode. Like, thank God that they're putting in a match mode. And, like, that's going to be good and all. But don't expect to, like, actually use that as a playtesting format. Because, number one, Tier Elements and Sprite aren't in this game. So, already the game is behind what the actual game is doing. So, it's just dog shit right out of the gate. And, like, if there's just, like, little casual Timmy playing with his Beaver Warrior dog shit deck in, like, the match mode. And you, like, start playing Flunder. He's just going to rage quit out and go into another room. And then, like, you're going to just be in there, like, 30 seconds every game just winning. Because you won the dice roll. And you're just going summon Mpin and friends. And, you know, uh, just Dreaming Town and all the other shit. I can't even think of any other cards that are in this dog shit game. And it's like, you know... It, it's going to be what it is. Or you're going to get like some of the clowns I get on EDO Pro where you go in to play a match. You beat them game one and you're getting ready to side deck and then they're just going to rage quit out after the first game. You're like, bro, really? Like, there are so many better options, ladies and gentlemen. But I wanted to have some fun and just shit on all this because this is hilarious to me. Like, they added in a match mode. And Konami clearly doesn't watch my damn videos. They don't listen to what I have to say. They just think I'm shitting on the game when they're not listening to in between the lines of what I'm saying and hearing me say, when you put in a match mode, you idiot. <laughs> you make it to where you can get something out of it as my screen turns off. You make it to where you can get gems. You make it to where you can get like a higher rating. You make it to where you can get cards or packs or whatever it is that you can work towards. I don't know why my PC isn't cutting back on, but it's like, it's comical to me that they would think that adding in this match mode and not having anything to work towards was going to make someone actually want to play it. Like, what's the point of even playing this game at this point? Like seriously, as I said in my last video, the ban list sucks, the cards are nothing interesting, and the game is slow from what I understand. Like, Flunder's tier zero in this game, apparently. So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is hilarious to me. Make sure you leave a comment down below. But let me know what you think about all this. Do you like seeing me shit on Master Shits? Because I ha like having some fun with it. The Ultra Ball think it's fun. The Ultra Banana thought it was fun. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support, truly, from the bottom of my heart. And I will see you in the next video.